G'day guys, welcome back to another how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to catch beach worms, another one of the great baits that you can use on the beach and pretty much anywhere um, around the rivers as well. So first things first, what you need is, well what we use is a tin of cat food, the seafood variety, and also if you can get one that's got a little pop top, that saves you having to bring a can opener. Um, the next things you need is good quality. <sighs> Good quality pair of worming plies. These are Alvi, Alvi brand. They're black Alvi graphite ones. They're the best ones I've used. Other ones and they just don't cut the mustard. This one, these ones are the best ones you can get. They're about ten bucks each. So you need one of the, a pair of them. We've got two. One for me. One for Taryn. Then you also need a stocking. Now a lot of people use like whole fish. Um, pieces of fish meat and all that sort of stuff that's fine you can use that as well but we like using the stocking with the cat food so the cat food will go in here and it will burly up the worms the last thing you need is a bait bucket something that you can just chuck your worms in this one's what's this little kmarty belt bait box perfect holds all the worms in there for us so we can catch them so yeah wet up the trail Head down to the beach and show you what we can do. Get really cold in it. So another thing people ask a lot is uh, when to go. I like going about halfway up the running tide, so an hour and a half after the low tide with the tide running in. That's my preference for worming. A lot of people just say go anytime. Um, you can catch them at any time. I just find halfway up that running tide to be the most successful time where you get a lot of them poking their heads up and yeah you can get a, a lot of them in a very very short period of time all right so next steps is to obviously open up the little can it's a thousand flies it's all right <laughs> yucky then you just tip the can straight into the stocking If it comes out. There we go. And there's your perfect worming bait right there. Ready to go. Alright, so we're at the beach now. We're gonna use the sock to hopefully burly up a few worms. What you want to do is wait for the waves to come up. And then as they get closer, so we're waiting for a couple waves here. As they get close, you just want to start burling and using your stocking, waving it around. What you're looking for is little V's in the sand, because that's where the worms, they come up, they poke their little head up and it shows like a little V in the sand and that's where they are and then you slowly walk down to them but I'll show you once we find one. Keep trying, you don't get them every time. A pinch, make sure he bites it. It's almost there. Hopefully. Back 
it. And bang. Right behind it, keep it close. You get it right on the head there, then you pull towards the shoreline. And bang. You have yourself a beach worm. That's our first one of the session. The biggest key is, let's get out of the water. So, the biggest key is obviously using this burly to burly him up, but then when you want him to bite it, you want to just make a little bit so then his head, which is his head right here, just bites straight onto it. And then pretend the sand is where my finger is. He's bitten it, you want to bring the pliers in right behind his head. Don't pinch it when it's here, you want to pinch it right when, I'll get the sack out of the way. You want to pinch it right when his head's right in the middle of your pliers and then pinch hard. Okay, you feel him pull against you and then you want to pull up towards the shoreline. And then you have a beautiful, beautiful worm. The key is obviously make him bite, lift him up, because as soon as you put the pliers in the sand or you put your hand on the sand, he feels it straight away. And uh, yeah, as soon as he feels it, that's game over. As soon as they bite once, they never come back. So if you miss him or he bites it and, and goes back into his little hole, move on, find a new one and see if you can't catch more with it. You're gonna miss heaps of them, but once you get the first one, it's kind of like riding a bike. Once you get the first one, um, it gets a lot easier as you go through. So, I'm gonna catch a few more, show you a few more, and then, yeah, keep going. So what we're doing, we're waiting for the waves to come up. I already know there's one about five meters in front of me. You don't wanna get too close to it till the opportunity arises. So we're gonna wait for the wave to come back up, burly him up, and then slowly walk down to him. You don't wanna step right where he is you want to step beside him so let's say let's say the nip it not the nip it, the worms in this hole here i want to stand side on to him and burly him up and bring his head up this way okay if you step right where he is he's not going to come back so you're going to be a bit sort of sneaky about it There you go, that's how you catch worms. Biggest key is to obviously build them up, get them to bite the bait. Once they bite it, lift them up a little bit so then your hand or pliers don't touch the sand. Pinch them pretty hard and then pull up towards the shore away from the waves and they'll come out. So yeah, that's how you catch some beach worms. Hope you all enjoyed that. Taryn's turn to see if she can catch a few. So yeah. All right, so 
grab some worms in there enough for a fish probably eight or nine in there you cut them up to fit the size of your hook so each worm probably gets three or four baits and they normally hang on pretty well they're kind of like a squid they're quite um tough on the hook and they can hang on there for a long time so <clears throat> once you have all of your worms what you want to do is tip them out in dry sand so you tip them all out in dry sand all of them and then you just coat them in that dry sand then what I do is I normally put a bit of sand in the bottom of a bucket just to coat the bottom, chuck them in. One more, don't forget this one. Salt and pepper. And then chuck some sand on top of them. And all you have to do is keep them in a cool, dry place and they're good for a couple of days like this. You can change the sand and stuff like that, but they generally stay good for about 48 hours, so. Or freeze them. Yeah, or you can freeze them and they last months so up to you with what you want to do but uh yeah that's how you catch beach worms hope you all enjoyed it leave a thumbs up if you did subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one peace